Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial video in which I'll show you how to get the Pikmin 2 practice romhack.iso so that you can use it on your homebrew Wii through Nintendo or through the Dolphin emulator. So the first thing you want to do is follow the link in the description which will take you to this video called Pikmin 2 practice hacks by Pickhacker. Uh, thank you to Pickhacker for making this. It's incredible and it's far beyond what we even expected uh, would be possible even six months ago. So. Follow the mega link in the description, which will take you to practice hack version number dot zip. Go ahead, download it. It's only 6.2 megabytes, so it shouldn't take you very long. The second thing you'll need is to follow the second link in my description, which will take you to this page. Um, it has all of the dot ISOs for all of the versions of Pikmin 2 that you would ever hope to use. Um, right here, we have the Japanese version for if you're running all treasures or the USA version. For if you're running payoff debt uh, go ahead right click and then click download I've already done that here they are so the first thing you want to do is extract the game to anywhere you can manipulate it doesn't really matter and the second thing you want to do is extract this practice hack uh, I've also renamed it to Pikmin 2 practice and put it in my Wii stuff folder now also extract nnasos which comes with the game. Uh, this is just a decompression tool so that uh, you can decompress the .gcm. Right, when that's done, all you have to do, it's this easy, click the .gcm.dec and click and drag it onto nnasos.exe. Drop it on there. When it's done after about 5.38 seconds, Ah, 5.53, you'll have a Pikmin 2 USA version 1.00 .gcm, not .dec, .gcm. Take that, change the file extension to .iso. Yes, we do want to change it. There it is, .iso. I'm going to cut that into my extracted Pikmin 2 practice file. You can clean this up later. I'm going to delete it. The next thing you want to do is open up the README. Please open up the README. It's a, it's a really informative README and it will fill you in on anything that I neglect to mention right now. Honestly, Pickhacker has gone above and beyond with this, so please give it a look. Uh, installing is really easy though. All you have to do is click your .iso, click and drag it onto patch.bat. This will take some time. It's also going to ask what version of Pikmin 2 that I've put on it. At the moment, it's USA version 1.00. Uh, so I'm just going to type U. And any key. There we go. So what we have here is a vanilla Pikmin 2 ISO. And we also have Pikmin 2 practice.iso. I'm going to go ahead now and rename that to game.iso because I'm going to be using that with Nintendo. I'm now in the SD card for my Wii. In the games directory, I'm going to call this folder Pikmin 2 Practice. And all I'm going to do is copy and paste the game.iso from my Pikmin 2 Practice patching area to this folder. Uh, after that, all I do is put my SD card back in my Wii, and through Nintendo, I'm going to run the ISO. So I've just turned on the game through Nintendo. One thing I have to make sure, because if you do have any cheats active, it might cause the game to crash when it begins loading a sublevel. Um, but anyway, I haven't discussed the whole point of this ROM hack. It's basically a level select so that you can select any cave in the game and any floor of that cave. And on top of that, you can select any seed such that the, if you choose the same seed, the layout will always be the same. You can get rid of the seed and just return to random by just pressing B. But I am going to choose a seed. Uh, I don't know, let's choose this number. Um, manual Pikmin you probably don't want to change as well as normal upgrades. Because if you pick the category that you're practicing, you should have the same number of Pikmin and upgrades that you would expect to have at that time. Uh, I'm going to do a full cave practice. So I'm going to turn on cave saving delay, which basically means that um, it simulates saving. So it, it basically emulates real time. Um, what the full cave would be like between floor levels. Um, and that's it. That's how simple it is. 
if you choose the same seed, you will get the same layout every single time. So let's give it a go. There's a couple other features as well that I want to point out before this video ends. Um, it displays the seed at the top, and if you pause, even if it's a random seed, it doesn't matter what screen you're on, it will display the seed on the bottom. There, you can see it. Even if it's a random seed. So, if you play a random seed and you think, damn, that's a cool seed, I want to practice that, it's easy. So, when this treasure reaches the ship, I'm going to be pressing start, okay? I'm spamming start right now. And if I continue to, as soon as it reaches the ship and the value is updated into, into uh, the, the POCO value counter, I can press start and it skips the cutscene, which is fantastic for practicing. It's basically everything you've ever wanted, because uh, it doesn't affect the lockout, which is quite important for learning and practicing. But yeah, that's it.